بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیول فور اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ گڈ آئی ایم یور ایس ایس ٹی ٹیچر فرام فیلکن ہاؤس گرامر اسکول کیمپس نائن دس ویڈیو از اباؤٹ رائٹس اینڈ ریسپانسبلٹیز سو اٹ از ریکویسٹڈ یو ٹو کائنڈلی اوپن یور بکس ایٹ پیج نمبر ہنڈریڈ یونٹ ٹویلو رائٹس اینڈ ریسپانسبلٹیز دا فرسٹ پیج آف دس چیپٹر features a conversation between family members discussing their needs students it is advisable to pause the video here and read page number 100 as it elaborate the topic and help to gain better understanding i trust that you have read the page they all were talking about their needs and wants mr iqbal need a brief case Grandfather need fresh air and want to go for a walk. Grandmother wanted to go to market and needs a cup of tea. Mrs. Iqbal wanted to buy a new carpet for her room. And children were asking to buy some new clothes, stationery, computer game, etc. But to gain a comprehensive understanding of rights and responsibilities, it is essential to make difference between needs and wants needs are necessities things that are essential for survival and well-being such as food water fresh air shelter clothes and education wants on the other hand are desires or preferences for non-essential things like luxuries entertainment that make life more enjoyable and comfortable but are not essential for survival wants are more about improving the quality of life i hope now you can easily answer the question what do the family need and what do they just want human needs and rights basic needs for survival are food water air clothes and shelter but everyone can't get or afford these things it might be because of famine flood earthquake war or of what other people do there are four pictures on page number 101 showing different condition picture a showing the flood homes and other buildings in pakistan picture b showing refugees who left kosovo because kosovo war in 1998 to 1999 made it unsafe picture c is showing people in mali an african country suffering from drought drought is a period of time when there is not enough water available while picture d is showing homes in haiti a caribbean country destroyed after earthquake in 2010 We all need clean air to breathe, clean water to drink, and food to eat, shelter to live, and medical help. Without these, we should suffer and could die. After looking at these pictures, what do you think they need? Complete the chart about pictures on page number 102. Let's read the fact. More than 850 million people in the world do not have enough water to More than 850 million people in the world do not have enough to eat. A child dies from hunger every 5 seconds. 884 million people drink unsafe water. How sad is that? Rights for all. In 1948, a group of experts from various countries came together to create a list of essential rights and freedoms that every person should have this list was widely accepted by most countries and is now known as the declaration of human rights to ensure that people in pakistan can enjoy these rights the pakistan commission of human rights worked to promote and protect human rights in this country here are some of the rights and freedoms on the list right to live equality to travel practice religion right to see what they think etc children's right 
Human rights are not just for adults but also for children. In 1989, leaders from around the world gathered to create a specific list of rights for children. This list includes anyone under the age of 17 as a child. Many countries including Pakistan signed this list in September 1990 to ensure that children in Pakistan are able to enjoy these rights. Organizations like Society for the Protection of the Rights of Child SPARC work to promote and defend rights of children. It is important to remember that while you have rights, you have also some responsibilities. If you have right to food, then you should not waste the food. If you are having a right to a home, so you should treat home with care. If you are free to practice religion, then you should respect beliefs of other as well. Most important, you have right to go to school, then you should work hard at a school. The right to education. It has been recognized as a human right in the number of international convictions including the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights. The constitution requires that all kids be given equal educational opportunity no matter what their race, ethnic background, religion, or whether they are rich or poor, citizen or non-citizen. This picture is showing a cut piece of newspaper having stories of two children, Sajid and Kavita. Sajid is 11 year old. He doesn't go to school because he earned money to support his family. On the other side, Kavita is 8 years old. She can't go to school because she had to look after her baby sister while her parents work. If Kavita went to school, one of her parents would have to stop working. Then the family would not have enough money. Take out your exercise books and Write the answer of how can we help children like Sajid and Kavita. Let's read the facts. In Pakistan, more boys than girls start primary school. More children in cities than in the country go to school. Not all children who enroll in primary school stay until grade 5. More boys than girls complete primary school. About 3 million children in Pakistan work. At the end, there is a short message. People must fulfill their needs first. And once their basic necessities are met, they can move on to satisfying their wants. Thank you.